Alrighty folks, we are back working on the uh, GMC Roadster. I don't know, I don't have a name for it. Anybody got any ideas? I don't really have a clue. I just keep calling it a GMC Roadster. <laughs> hey pup, you got any ideas? Zero. <laughs> All right, anyways, last time we worked on it, we did the bottom fenders and I think they're okay. I don't mind them. Uh, but we did mock up the other side like instead of a running board I toyed with the idea of doing these this molded fender and I like it I really do um, I think I want to work with it a little bit just to Basically, I like this template or this design ish So I think we're gonna turn it into some steel just to see because this is okay, but I still the visual is not great so I think the plan is we're gonna at least try to make this one side see how uh, see how it turns out see if I still like it when it's in steel so far I really do like it so so we have a rough idea of our plan I don't have any kind of round tubing to do this but that should be a pretty easy something to make and then same down here I think I want this to still be yeah yada high kind of thing so um, we'll probably do this in two pieces but i don't know how big this one is It'd be nice if they were four foot because then i can do everything in the brake that's what we're gonna have to do is everything in the brake my broken tape measure uh, hold on here i just need to figure out my mock-up so it's like 63 so that's okay four foot gets us way back here which I like that um, we can go a little bit smaller but now nah, we'll stick with that so if we go the four foot that gets us past this gap so at least I can kind of make this whole thing in one should be able to do it in one piece um, we can do here is we'll just loosely we're well somewhere somewhere in this vicinity I'm just gonna Cut this off, other than this is all made out of tape. Yeah, we should still be able to do it. We'll cut this. We're gonna transfer this to a piece of steel and then see if we can, yeah, if I go further out, now that I think about it, I can kind of make this transition across. Just talking to myself. I'm trying to think if I can do this all in one piece or I'm gonna have to do it in multiple. I think the curve is gonna be the hard one. And then I don't know what I'm doing inside the door yet after that. I like the idea that the door is cut into this panel and I might just maybe that goes to the bottom of the door that's there currently so we can just kind of square it out and it's done but won't know until we get there.
right, this is my struggle already. I'm trying to do a round curve on here, and I'm trying to use this brake. <laughs> I found a piece of a like, gas pipe, so I think I'll cut it and see if I can make this thing do nice curves, if that makes sense. I'll cut this first and I'll try. All right, I'm wondering if I can use this to, if I can somehow snug it in here and force this thing to bend it. Kind of like those mag brakes. You can do that. But I don't have one of those, so. Okay, this might work if I can get these to sandwich down. I'm gonna need to uh, back these off fully and then see if I can hunker it down. I think all we can do is try, see what happens. I think it's hard to make that consistent. I'd say that's a success. Look at that. And it's pretty much on my line. I just wonder if it's enough. Now we need this whole thing to go burnt. Might have to dig out my old brake. See, <laughs> just big enough. It's not perfect. Got a few imperfections on that side, but I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I think this was supposed to be a lot more. We could kick this more though. Let's try that. Except let's clean up that corner of that brake. Guess it just is what it is. See if that's better. It is better, but we need more roundness here. Well, I think, <laughs> I think I got what I wanted.
I guess it's hard because the truck cab is bigger there and it gets smaller back here. That's what screwed me up. Let's trim that out. See where, where I want it to be right here, but I'm like two inches out over here. <laughs> Let's forcefully get what we want here. Oh, that's a toughie. There's a lot going on there. I don't know. It's not bad. I think this will need to just smooth into there, but. If you guys stretched. I guess I gotta bring my stretcher shrinker here. Oh, it's right here. We're getting there. What I'm trying to do instead of forcefully pushing it is we're just stretching this a little bit so it'll relax onto the door. A little leaving some marks, but we'll be able to clean that up later. Well, you get a better visual. This whole part's screwy yet, but, and this is, well, we got dents to fix, and this is not quite, there we go. This is here. You kind of seen, I was just stretching this a little bit, so this kind of rests up against the door. So, I don't know. I mean, I like it. This is still almost a little too round, but at least there's some roundness. It's not too harsh. I almost feel it should be bigger, but... But I don't think it'd be round, because round won't make sense unless the guy had like a side pipe through that, and I don't actually want to do that now. I feel like that kind of mimics a running board. It's on the fatter side, but... Um, I think we'll make this piece, and then we'll just see, see where we're at. Uh, that one will take a little bit, well, not too bad. I want to add a little bit here because I want to round that one up. This one gets that same, no, this gets that same round. Well, actually, this and this get that same roundness. But we'll have to transition this first. Man, okay, let's just go. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more complicated this is going to get.
I like the look. Fortunately, I've been doing tons of work on this thing you've seen, and I didn't realize that this upper edge was out of whack. You can see my line here, and my line goes down there. It's, uh, I found you only have one shot at doing that pipe with the brake. Um, after that, you can't correct it, and it's, I don't, I don't really, you don't know where the brake is starting, or at least I don't. So, yeah, that sucks. I mean, I could redo this thing. I might. This curve is still good. I'm going to see if I can somehow salvage that. Because if I try to re-bend that, it just seems to push in there. But, like, I like the curve high. Actually, I almost like it lower, but I want to keep it about that high, I think. And I'm going to see if I can get that side to do it. We got a few little bobos, like, this cut was bad. And I gave myself extra meat so I could try to trim this nice. But it ended up nipping me in the butt and... You've seen I, my struggle was huge just trying to get this to fit. It'll be just easier to trim this excessive and then make something. I might do round rod around there. Here's, like I say, it's not too terrible. Originally I was suffering with this because this was a hair bit higher. So you see me hammer the bottom flat again and I re-bent the bottom because, well, really you can't see that part. So, But overall, I like this. I think it's neat. Somewhere, somewhere in here, in this upper part, I want to do the door cutout. And then over here, eventually, is like, like I was showing before, we'll have, I don't know if I'll do, probably do like four exhaust pipe cutouts. It's kind of my idea. Something like, something like that. But first, let's see if I can fix this panel. And then we'll kind of get it back to this stage and then overall into this thing we're going to need a break in here like i was saying before otherwise like this is just going to flex and fight itself between the body and the the box twisting okie doke so a i could trim that back more to get this and then we'll make a filler to come around into here it's an idea but this still has to go ahead a bit too because we're not nothing's proper up in the front here yet all righty Let's, uh, let's see if I can fix that. <laughs> Well, I think we got that straightened out. It almost works better. Well, at least the smaller brakes, just like hitting it on the bench and just pulling it over. They got some tweaking to do, but overall it's got a nice whoop, whoop, whoop. So it has like a traditional step look. And then it still has this whole dealio kind of flowing along. I like it. I mean, I like it that it would be one piece, but I think this is the only way to make this and this like kind of flow into each other. 
This one might be nice that we do this. Oh, yeah, I don't want to weld that to there. Just wonder if we follow that more. I wonder if we follow this more and it comes up to the door gap, but the door gap's just gonna, it's not gonna go down. It's just gonna come there. Huh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I want to break this. I mean, we could weld this back here and then have this just go straight. Just want, you know, like a gap or even an over, nah, I want a gap. I'd like it to sit pretty flush other than a tiny gap in there. Similar to the door gap, but. Hmm. Well, I mean, overall, we basically got what I wanted. We just got to do a whole lot of trimming now. And I guess we'll tack it on and then we'll see, see where we go from there. I might go, well, yeah, we'll tack it. And yeah, we got to get that dent out. We'll get that dent out so that we can get this thing pressed up, get a couple tacks on everything. And then maybe underneath from the bottom side, I'll do a trace. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do that now. I'll trace the bottom of the door and then we'll see how far down. I feel like it's going to be like way down here. I don't want that. I'd rather be here. So we might be redoing the door bottom to kind of work with this new look. But in the silver, eh, I like it. I think it works. It's different. I don't know how goofy it'll look when the truck's aired up. <laughs> All right, well, let's just keep working here. See where we get. Okie doke. I think what I'm gonna try to do for a little bit here is actually pull these dents out of the door if they're doable. I'm not sure, at least with this thing. I just picked up like one of these little spot welder to kind of zippity zap it and it's supposed to be like a spot gun but reusable i don't know we'll see how that works i haven't had good success in the past but hey maybe this one works better anyways uh what we got to do is clean this all up i'm actually probably gonna put some air in the front we'll lift this up here see where things sit but uh that way i can get this doohickey in there a little better it's not terrible but we want a little more height there all right well we'll uh we'll lift her up and get it going here See if I remember how to or not to use this thing. My success rate is never great with it. <laughs> the old one. Uh, automatic or manual? Go on manual. how I remember it working. <laughs> Never happy. Well, that's not bad. See? Kind of the problem I have with this one. 
Maybe the metal's too thick for this thing, I don't know. Yeah, you just never win with this thing. That's like full power on top of that. Let's just crank everything up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not right. All right, well, we'll keep trying. Well, that was a good one. I always want to just jump straight into the middle, but this one seems to work backwards. I think my door latch doesn't work here. Or it's going to be a terrible ride on the road. <laughs> If it's a minor dent, maybe that's a better tool to use. Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't work, but I think it doesn't, it's not good for bigger dents. I think it's good for smaller ones. So we're going to go back to our tired and true. What I know for violent big dent pulls is the old stud gun. So I haven't used this one before, but we'll give it a whirl and see how she goes. That's what I know. <laughs> right down the center of a dent. Oh, that feels solid. It even has a timer in it. Oh, maybe that's what that thing is. I understand. Slide them on. Snug it up. Not sure how good this. Thing doesn't, at least I can't tighten it very tight. That's where the other one will work at perfect after, just with the minor little pulls and pushes and stuff like that. Pretty good, we just got one big dinger in there yet. All right, we got to try to pull these off nicely. Usually you can just grip them and spin them. These ones are actually sticking on there really good. Yeah, I tried different pliers. Well, that was a sir. There we go, see me. There we go. Very. I don't want to weld holes. Ah, dang it. If I don't have to, I guess I should just snip them off. Dang it. Oh well. No biggie. You can grind them off. Let's see if. See if that thing can get right dead in the middle. I don't know how clean it is. Yeah, that's what I thought.
Perfect. Survey says. Ah, <laughs> mint. I think this just is what it is. I mean, for the bottom of the door, who cares? We know we're gonna be getting pretty darn up there anyways, but I wanted a nice even surface. Well, for what it is, it worked pretty good. The kicking, it looks trashy, but it's actually pretty nice. Same over here, this was a big wowie. It's not perfect, but like I was saying before, it's gonna get covered up. Um, yeah, I got some issues with my door here. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. The latch, I think I'm gonna change those latches out because it just seems to be a garbage setup with no roof. There's probably gonna be some movement there. Anyways, I think we can set everything back down. And I did, oh, like you can see my, my selection. So we have that spot welder, which works good for light, light steel, but I don't know, on a newer car, I bet you that thing would work mint. This is probably tired and true, the old stud guns. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sponsored in any way, I'm just, these are just things I can afford, so I buy what I can afford. <laughs> I get more, it's not an everyday tool for me, so, you know, works pretty good for what they are. Anyways, you can see, I made a super loose idea of where the bottom of that door, that actually lines up with the bottom of the door, which is not terribly low in the panel it's pretty close to where i thought it would be so i don't know how i'm going to trace and cut that yet other than i believe i'll just do a measurement and we'll just blindly cut this panel and we're probably going to have to redo and fix some stuff but um so i don't want to cut the door up high i guess a guy could hold on let me get the door open and i'll show you what's inside All right, so I guess in the big picture of things, a guy could just carve this door open really tall because it won't affect anything. Because look how big that step is from when the door is in there. But I don't know that I want to do that. Maybe, just to be different.
I measured underneath and it's kind of weird the way the door is. It's like four and three quarter here and four and a half over here. I kind of did the slice. I mean, it, it actually looks level just because the transition so much different from the front to the back because I got so much more curvature here. I was trying to find ways to do it. And I was trying to do straight edge. <laughs> we did a tape measure. I don't have any pencils, so I was using this thing to make sure my dude, my doodad here was straight, and then I would just score it, and then we kind of marking it that way to see. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. I don't know. We'll have to, you know, to play with that yet. But I think we're gonna have to work on this door next, just to try to tighten up or change the latches or do something. The gap's pretty crappy on this side, and this side's not terrible, but. You gotta imagine the calves all cut the beans here, so weird things are gonna happen. And there's not much you can do, like you can only, it's just, it's gonna have some movement, but we might have to change latches just so the doors will close consistently. <laughs> I don't wanna hit a bump on the road and the door pop open. But anyways, let's move a few of these things here. And have a look. I think it looks great. I like it. Uh, over here, this is what we're going to have to do, and I kind of dig it too. You can see it's the smallest of gap. We might make it a little bit bigger, but we might, we're probably going to round rod it or we'll cut an edge, like weld an edge on them or something, but it needs something to breathe, move, kind of do a little dance there. Uh, I'm not sure about this, because maybe this, this, this and this doesn't jive together, because this is here. This one I like to roll, but 
this doesn't quite make sense. Maybe it will when there's some round rod on it. I'm just trying to figure out how to how to finish this part of the cab yet, but I dig it. I don't know how much further we're gonna get. You can see I welded onto the extension here, so this will go in and just blend in. I think that's fine. There's plenty of space here. I guess I could open it a little more and just so it just hits the edge of the pipe. That could be something I could do. I don't know. Well, folks, there's a whole lot of farting around and, well, I don't know. We did make those pieces, so that's pretty good. It's going to be a bugger to mirror them to the other side. I'm going to do a few measurements and we'll see. Uh, but chances are I can re-template these because all my buggery is done. And it should be a much easier transition over to the other side. So we might make the other pieces yet. And then, uh, well, and then both sides are done. Actually, they're kind of tacked on. I should air the thing up and see what it would look like driving around like that. Let's do that really quick. Have a peek -see. Well, I got to admit, that definitely doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I thought that would look a lot worse, honestly. I like that. That's not too shabby. Cool. Well, this might be a little shorter video, but got some other work I was going to go do. So, hey, as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. And we will catch you on the next one. Later.